<laughs> Hello, Gemini. How's it going? I hope you're super well, my fellow partners in crime. Uh, this is going to be a messages from your person for September, Gems, but it's timeless, so you know, whenever you happen to get it is when you were meant to get it. Thank you so much for being here with me. I really appreciate it, and you're so welcome here, as always. Um, if you find your reading resonates with you, don't forget to like and subscribe for me, Gems. I would appreciate that a lot. Um, and if you would like to book a personal reading with me, the link to my website is in the description box underneath the video. Um, let me just move some stuff around here. Guys. I don't personally do live readings, um, but if you are interested in getting a live reading, I can recommend my sponsor, um, Keen. They are open 24 hours a day. It's like a network of uh, psychics online. You can choose which psychic you would like to read for you and if you head over to trykeen.com forward slash madam butterfly um you get your first 10 minutes for a dollar 99 so it's a it's a good deal if you're looking for a live reading because i know some people prefer that um I don't really do it just because it's hard to organize the time and stuff. Um, but so thank you for Keen, thank you to Keen for sponsoring the video. I really appreciate it. So, what would Gemini's person like them to know, please, Spirit? Start off with some fluffy oracle cards. <laughs> what would Gemini's person like them to know, please, Spirit? What would Gemini's person like them to know? What's Gemini's person thinking about? Oh my God, fated to be together, Gemini. Love it. Fated to be together. Well, what else could you ask for, right? Oh my god, king. Okay, so they're either seeing you as a king, Gemini, or you make this person feel like a king. Wow. High praise, Gems. And one more, please, spirit. Maybe we'll get a few from this deck. I like this deck. What else is Gemini's person thinking, please? Make a wish. Okay, so you might be getting something, Gemini. Maybe you're getting a gift or something, but I feel like you're this person's wish fulfillment, to be honest. Um, I feel like this person kind of manifested you a little bit here. They're thinking it's fate. Bonds of time, yep. They might be clocking like a past life connection with you, Gemini, or something, or they might just feel like they really know you. Like they might just feel like they've known you for a long time, or maybe you guys have. Like maybe you guys have known each other for a long time. But they certainly feel very connected to you. Yeah, I don't like the way they came out. Uh, let's get one more please, Spirit. How's Gemini's person feeling about Gemini? Beautiful adventure. So, I don't know, maybe they're planning a trip with you or something, Gemini, but it could just be more um, that like they see you guys starting a beautiful new life together. You know what I mean? Going on an adventure together, starting something beautiful. You have bond, look at that. Oh, you have bonds of time and you have bond. A love bond grows stronger over time. Awesome, and the camera just went to three through three. Um, okay, so there's something here, like they, they feel like they really know you or you guys have known each other for a while, or they just feel, I think, that they've known you for a long time. I think they feel very comfortable with you, Gemini. You have obstacles here. Look for ways around the obstacles to find happiness. So you guys might have some obstacles to overcome here. It's gonna be different for different people. Um, maybe they're dealing with obstacles at the moment. Maybe you're dealing with some obstacles. You have openness. Be open to accept divine guidance in your relationships. Okay, so it's come out under king. So I guess they feel like they can be open with you, Gemini, which is kind of a Gemini trait, making people feel like that. I'm gonna take those two. Um, I think you really just make this person feel very good or they see you as someone, um, like they, you either make this person feel like a king or they see you as a king. But either way, I feel like they've, um, 
Oh my god, Gemini and these cards. Um, yeah, like they just feel very comfortable with you. There's something here about like you make them feel special. You make them feel very comfortable with you. Underneath make a wish you have signs. Watch out for signs guiding you to true love. So there's been a lot of signs for this person, Gemini. I think this person probably manifested you. Feels like you're a wish fulfillment for this person. There must be something that you've done or something that you've said to this person that make, makes them feel like you're a wish fulfillment. You have beautiful adventure and you have surprise. You may be about to be surprised. So maybe this person wants to take you on holiday or something or maybe they're planning a day trip or something like that. Or maybe you're about to get a message from this person, um, like they're about to tell you something that's going to surprise you. Like, hey boo, I love you, <laughs> or something, I don't know. And you have yin yang here, so this person's kind of, um, this card talks about a twin flame, but it's more, so you could, be, you could be dealing with someone, you know, who sees you as a twin flame, but it's, with the yin yang, it's like more, you know, the, you're the yin to my yang kind of thing. Like, I feel like you're my other half. Beautiful, Gemini. Um, right, let's see what comes up in the tarot. What's this? Ten of Wands. Okay, so the person might have some obstacles that they're dealing with at the moment. Maybe that's preventing you from being together. Um, also, please don't click on any weird links in the comments, Gemini, or call any numbers down here because it's never anything to do with me, no matter what they say, you know. Alright, let's just, okay. Alright, so what would, jeez, okay. Right, you have the Queen of Pentacles here, so they're either, uh, first of all that's a Virgo card, so you could be dealing with a Virgo. They're either working on their money at the moment, or they see you as someone working on their money. Queen of Pentacles here. Messages. So this is what they want you to know. So they could well be working on their money here. Right. I'll take that as a wee side. Um, what would Gemini's person like them to know? Right. They have the Ten of Swords here. There's been some kind of ending for this person in their past, Gemini. Or they're ending something at the moment. There's something painful. Some kind of painful ending. They could be trying to ground themselves with that Queen of Pentacles energy there. With the Ten of Swords. It's some kind of painful ending. You know, I want to say stabbed in the back. So they could be trying to get themselves back together. Like they might have been depressed or something. Yeah, look at this. You have the Queen of Swords here, right? Which is your energy, Gemini. Um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But especially coming out with the Ten of Swords, it's usually my energy of a karmic. I feel like your person might have been dealing with a karmic in the past. The Queen of Swords can be kind of shrew-like sometimes, like quite a sharp tongue, you know, um, a little manipulative, a little controlling, quite domineering, you know, and you have the Justice card right underneath that. So uh, you had the Emperor underneath the Justice card. So I don't know if your person ended up paying for someone. The Justice card can be something about going through a divorce or a separation or some kind of legal battle. Which, you know what, actually that did come up in the Virgo reading a while ago that they were going through that. So you could very well be dealing with a Virgo, but you could be dealing with a Libra with the Queen of Swords and the Justice card there. Um, yeah, they could be going through some kind of messy separation or like division of the assets or like, you know, something weird, like with all this lockdown stuff, like couples that have been ended have ended up living together and weird stuff like this, you know, like <laughs> nightmares like that. So it could be something like that, but the justice card is usually something like kind of bureaucratic in some way, something to do with the courts or, you know, selling a house or something. Um, there's something here about if it's not to do with that I feel like this person's getting themselves into balance after maybe dealing with a karmic um, and I feel there's a conversation coming up here 
take it as it resonates, right? If you think they've not been dealing with this karmic, this is probably a conversation that's coming up um, where they're about to reveal their truth to you. You have the Nine of Pentacles here. So let's clarify that. That's also, that's also Virgo energy. Um, right, there's, oh my God, okay. You're gonna get, oh my God, Gemini, right. You're dealing with an emperor, first of all, um, which is awesome. You know, if you're looking for long term, I'm not saying everybody is. Uh, no judgment, everybody is different. Um, but, you know, the emperor, if you are looking for long term, that's a good person to go for, male or female, you know. Oh, look, something fast, gems. Um, the knight of swords, so... You could you could be dealing with an air sign yourself. You know, there's some air sign energy here. So air sign is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But with the Emperor, you could be dealing with... Now, the first thing I want to say is this person's very mature, okay? Regardless of their age, they could possibly be older, but the Emperor doesn't have to be older. It just It's just someone who's mature, someone who's been through stuff. Like, they know stuff, Gems. This person's been through stuff. They're very well respected. It could be someone like a manager or someone who's in charge of something. Um, it could be someone who's already a dad, specifically if you're dealing with a guy. Um, but this is someone very loyal, regardless of gender, very loyal. This is someone who wants to be settled. You know, this is someone that you can rely on. Um, the emperor is very successful in basically everything <laughs> that he or she does. Um, so if they're rushing in here, this is because they know they want you, Gemini, right? They've made a decision here. Um, did I say Aries, Leo, Sagittarius? With the Emperor, you could be dealing with Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, but it could just be someone that's very responsible. Do you know what I mean? It, you know, they could have Aries in their chart or something like that, but um, it's more the energy of a card, you know what I mean? So if you're sitting there going, oh my God, like I wanted a Taurus, like it could very well be a Taurus, you know? It's just that they're very strong, you know, they're very, it's someone very determined. They're, they're seeing you as this Nine of Pentacles energy. Um, although I would say you've got, you've got two Virgo cards out here, so it's kind of come out underneath another Virgo card, so you could be dealing with a Virgo. Um, I know that's been coming up for a lot of gem gems, um, but with the Nine of Pentacles, they certainly see you as somebody very abundant. Um, especially if you're a woman, I would say they see you um, or you identify as the feminine. Like they see you as someone like very independent, um, possibly a single mother, but like very independent financially, you know, abundant generally abundant, like male or female, they see you as someone very abundant. You tick all this person's boxes, you know, with the nine of pentacles, it's someone that you really want to treat them right. You know, this is someone that you really want to treat very well because this person sees your worth. Um, you have the two of cups with the eight of wands. Okay, this person, there's union coming, Gemini. And that's communication especially right under the Queen of Swords as well. So there's definitely communication coming in here. It's fast. I think this is gonna happen kind of fast. Like it, I feel like I've said that a lot in the readings recently, but Knight of Swords, Eight of Wands, this person might have dithered for a while or whatever this is, they might not have been fully, f oh, my ears are ringing. Um, <laughs> they might not have been free to make a move on you for whatever reason this is because of this justice. This, this, These three cards here I feel like have come up in the Gemini readings before. So for some reason this person might not have been free to make a move but and even if this is just to do with their own headspace Gemini with the Knight of Swords they're putting aside emotion, they're putting aside the BS and they're just going to go for it because they see you as this Two of Cups energy. You know, um that soulmate energy. If this person or you, you don't believe in soulmates, that's fair enough, but it's like someone that you really get along with, you know, someone that you can really see yourself settling down with, like someone who's the same as you, you know, you're seeing some, it's the, it's someone who's very, very similar to you, you know, um, you can expect fa quite quite fast communication back and forth with this person fairly soon, I would say. You have the Death card and the Ace of Cups here. So 
with the death card, I do feel like there's been some kind of ending. Like they might have been through a divorce or a separation or something like that. You know, maybe they were living in the same house as their karmic or their ex or something. There's been some kind of ending here. Um, the death card is Scorpio energy, so they could have been dealing with a Scorpio. Or you could be dealing with a Scorpio. Um, but with the Emperor and the Ace of Cups here, like they know what they want, Gemini, and it's you with this Ace of Cups energy. There's a lot of love here. This person has a lot of love for you. I would say this is a new relationship, to be honest with you, this Ace of Cups here. Like this is someone new. I'd say it's somebody new. I mean, you might already know them, but you've not had a relationship with them, if that makes sense. So, um, and you have the Four of Swords here, right underneath that Knight of Swords. So it's like they've been in stasis. They've been healing or dealing with whatever this is, um, recuperating. They might have had to go through an ending and then work on their money. But there's, yeah. Um... There's a celebration coming in here for you, gems. That three of cups. It looks like it looks like dating, or some kind of celebration. Um, they could be moving the relationship on further, you know. But they've been in stasis, like some kind of healing of, of some kind. But they're coming out of that now. Um, yeah, because the chariot here, you could be dealing with a cancer. Um, there's more Virgo energy with the hermit. But they're very determined now. They're very determined. This person might, now with the chariot card, they might seem like they have it together, right? They might seem very, with this emperor energy, they do have it together, right? But the chariot can hide someone who's not that confident underneath gems. So, and I say this lovingly as a fellow Gemini, maybe just, you know, maybe less jokes, I don't know. You know, those jokes, you know you know what I'm talking about, Gemini, those jokes that are maybe a little too on the nose, maybe just, you know, be careful with this person, right? If you like them <laughs> with the chariot card here, because it's someone who's very focused, very determined, very successful, but maybe not that confident underneath it, okay? They might need, they might need some reassurance here, okay? Or just for you to not tease them as mercilessly as you usually would, right? And I say it with love, gems, I'm a gem myself. Um, they've definitely been in hermit mode for a while, but there's fast movement forward now, okay? It's like they've had an epiphany, they're making a decision, or whatever this is that held them back, they're getting past it now. So you can expect communication soon, gems. Yeah, and don't forget, you have surprise here, <laughs> especially with this, excuse me, tower energy <clears throat> and the eight of wands. <coughs> Excuse me, like something's gonna pop out of the snow like a daisy here, Gemini. And I think my voice going is um, spirit telling me to stop talking. So I'm gonna end the reading there. I hope you enjoyed it, Gemini. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe for me if you feel like doing that. Um, and don't forget to take care of yourselves, Gemini. Lots of love and thank you for watching.